Welcome everyone, my name is David and this is Blue Line Garage. In this episode, I'm basically just gonna be introducing my parts car for my El Camino I got. Uh, I'm gonna go over the parts car, what I'm gonna be taking off of it, what I'm not, and then also what I'm gonna be doing to uh, my, the one, my El Camino, the one I'm keeping. So right here is the one that's damaged. It, it got hit up here. Uh, messed up the hood. I actually just removed the hood uh, like about an hour ago, but this is the damage of it Actually, I don't need anything over here at all, which is a good thing for me uh, The rest of the car is actually not too bad except for the door But the one thing I do like is the interior the interior appears to be custom uh, if I could open it I got the door open here and look at this. Well, I can't open the door so much, but look at this. This is all custom I love it and then the seat is done as well it looks really great. I just got to clean up down here. Got a little dirty, but that's easy to clean. Um, that door is also done too. No damages, no nothing. Uh, I'm going to be swapping the whole interior, the dash, the seats, the door, the door panels, even the carpet I'm swapping out. Um, the other car I got is uh, maroon color inside, which I'm going to be showing you here in a second. But the best thing is the headliner. Look at this. It's, it's great. I love it. It, it looks good exactly what I want and everything in the back of it as well it looks like they had a sound system in here and they had wiring so I'm probably going to be pulling all that stuff out but all this stuff too I'm going to be taking out putting it in a new one now let me show you my El Camino now this is mine this is the one I'm keeping this one I'm going to be referred to as the white El Camino now it does have a seat cover that actually came with it but the seats in this thing is horrible there's holes in there everything I hate this color it doesn't let the inside of the car pop out which kind of I want and this is this this is it's, it's, it's like the other door the driver door is worse and I, you know all this stuff I'm changing out I'm putting brand new weather strippings all around you could see that it's all rotted up in here so I'm going to be doing a lot of changes. I, it just makes it look too dark in here. So I'm going to be swapping all that stuff out. Let me show you guys the driver's side. I do love the bed because it got uh, rhino spray, they call it. Rhino covering or whatever you call it. The trunk spray looks real good. So on this side here, you could see how worse it is. Like this is just hanging off. So I'm going to change all this stuff out. And I'm super excited. And I'm going to be videotaping changing the interior um, if you guys want to change some interior in the future you could use my video as a reference on what you need to remove so i'm changing everything even the seat belts um, but as you could see and this seat was really bad right here like you could even see the springs that was inside but same thing back here i'm going to take all this stuff out swap it out uh swap out the dash which is going to be the hardest i never i never replaced the dash before but it's a learning process. I'm pretty excited to do it. I was just hoping I would do it on somebody else's car. <laughs> but look at this headliner here. This is sagging down. It doesn't look well at all. And like I said, I am super stoked for the interior and the brown one. But this brown one I will be selling. It actually, this is an 86 and that's an 84. And I already looked into it. The, the interior fits. The only difference is the badge stuff over here and then the radio thing, but that's it. But everything else is looking good. So it's a full swap out. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Look at this, this is nice. I, I already swapped out the, the lock, little bezel things. I couldn't wait. So I'm gonna swap everything out, And but I'm gonna leave the weather stripping because it's really cheap. I'm just gonna buy a brand new, swap it out. But let me show you the engine here. Now this is a fuel inject. The 86 is a fuel inject, 84 is carburetor. So this thing actually starts up and run. I'm gonna start up here in a second and show you guys. Now this wire here, this was for the radio uh, or the amp they had. But let me start this up, show you how it sounds because um, this car will be for sale once I'm done swapping out the interior and that's all I'm doing. Um, so if you're interested in the car, hit me up um, through Instagram, Blue Line Garage on Instagram. I'll put the link right here. You could see it. Just look for me, send me a message if you're interested. All right, guys, there you have it. And you start it up. Sounds great. So if you're interested, I got it. All right. So it's, it's actually a good car. If you fix the damage on it, get it repainted, it looks pretty good. The tires, 
are in great condition. Uh, I'm not too fond of the rims at all, um, but mine is better on here. But let me show you what I'm doing in the engine compartment. All right, guys, so this is my, on my El Camino, the white one. Uh, it does have a serpentine uh, belt conversion kit on it, which is great. Um, has new carburetor, everything, as you can see, manifold, all good. I do have to put new seals on um, whatever you call it, cam cover or, or whatever you call it. Um, there was a few things I had to fix up, though. Um, I got to replace this hose, get it a little better. They kind of jimmy rigged it. But overall, this is pretty good. Uh, starts right up. Sounds great. Um, this fuel filter is way too close to the engine. I'm going to actually extend that, probably mount it all over here off to the side. Um, has a new battery, has a lot of new stuff under here. They were actually trying to upgrade a lot of parts in here, which is great, um, but they didn't uh, finish. So I'm going to take over and upgrade a lot of stuff on here. I have lots of ideas I want to do. And I'm going to be videotaping it all. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like my videos, of course. And uh, we go from there. But, of course, I'm going to put all new spark cables. And I forgot the name of that other thing. I, I, I have bad memory. But um, a distributor cap. So I'm going to replace all that stuff. Put some really nice, nice things in here. Get it going. But I'm going to start this up so you guys could hear this one as well. So let me go ahead and do that. So there you have it, started up flawlessly. It, I, I, I enjoyed it, started right up, no issues at all. I like this one. This is my one of my favorite cars so far, and plus I like the, the front end on here. Even, even though the 70s, like the 79s, 78s actually look a lot better, and, but you know, we all can't have everything. And th that's it, that's it, I like this thing. And I know you guys are thinking like, hey, what's up here? So this is a Jaguar F-Type. Now, this is my next project that I'm going to be working on. I started this project a few months ago, and um, I had to stop because I was renovating my garage, and I had to wait for the contractor to start, which was like a month and a half. They built my loft over here. It's hard to see, but I had a loft built for storage and for a little lounge area, parts area, things like that. And then I had my four post car lift installed and I had to wait like three weeks for that. So it took a lot of time. I couldn't work on the Jaguar, but I will be fairly soon. I actually want to work on the Jaguar before I start messing around with the El Caminos. Probably the only thing I'm going to do is swap out the interior on uh, the white El Camino and then just focus on the Jaguar. So you're going to see videos bouncing between both of them. But like I said, make sure you subscribe. I got a lot of great content. I also randomly put um, how-to videos on uh, changing parts, things like that. And remember, look me up on Instagram. Other than that, I mean, I, I hope you enjoyed um, uh, this episode and catch you on the next one.